Yo, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to apply stretch res. So yeah, um, also if you guys wanna watch the video till the end, you guys should because there's gonna be gameplay of me using stretch res. So yeah, let's get right into this video. All right guys, so to get stretch res, it's actually quite simple. There's two methods, I'm gonna be showing you guys both of these. So start by typing on your keyboard, Windows plus R. And then after you guys do that, I don't know why fun I just showed up, but yeah. Uh, right in percentage local app data percentage once you've guys done that just press ok or enter on your keyboard obviously then press on anything and then press F and then go back press on Fortnite game double click on that and then saved and then config and then Windows client and then game user setting but before you guys do that make sure you guys press properties and make sure read only is not checked so that you can actually edit edit it and then now just open up your game user settings and then apply whatever stretch res you guys want. Right now I'm using 1400 by 1050. Um, I've probably mentioned it quite a few times now, but yeah. Uh, some other good ones that are, isn't too stretched would be 1750 by 1050. 1750 by 1050 is really nice. It's pretty uh, close to the native 1920 by 1080. But you guys just want to set this and this to whatever resolution you guys want. And then over here again, 1400 by 1050. And then when you go and open Fortnite, oh yeah, make sure you guys do press save. Once you've saved it, just close out and then go back over here and then properties. So right click and just press properties. Then read only, tick it again and then apply and okay. And then open Fortnite, but I already have it applied so I don't need to do that. But then you go into your settings and then um, it might show up here or it might show up on full screen. So for me right now, it says 1920 by 1080. I don't, I'm not too sure why. But yeah, it should show up your um, desired resolution there. But if it doesn't, don't worry guys, there's a method for it. So now is the second method. So you guys want to start by opening up the NVIDIA control panel. If you guys don't have NVIDIA, just use your AMD one. And I'm pretty sure this is also on whoever's using integrated uh, graphics cards. So mostly people who are using like Intel. So uh, it will be the steps will be similar, but since I have an NVIDIA graphics card, I need to show you guys the NVIDIA one since I don't have AMD. So you guys want to start by going to change resolution, and then press customize, press create custom resolution, and then set the resolution you guys want. So as an example, I'm just gonna type in 1750 by 1050 since I have already set it. Then set this to your current uh, refresh rate of your monitor. So if you have 144 hertz obviously do it 144 hertz if you don't just put it to 60 or if you have 240 obviously use 240 but yeah then once you've done that i've typed in 1750 right now uh press test okay so i've just pressed test it kind of looks weird for me right now all right uh, i went back to native so after you guys do that you they'll just show up here custom so yeah then obviously set it to your current refresh rate. Then after that, you guys, uh, I'm not gonna set it. I already have the, the my desired resolution. Now you guys just want to go over to let me see here. Adjust desktop size and position. Now I know for some of you guys out there, it might have black bars on the side of your screen here or like on the top or here, you know, etc. What you guys want to do instead of having no scale, have it to full screen. Now once you press full screen, it should remove those black bars that you guys had. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Now you just want to close it and then you can go into Fortnite again and the res will show up. So um, right now I'm playing with 1400 by 1050. I'll show some gameplay with me using this. But if you guys don't want to see the gameplay, you guys can just click off this video now. But yeah, make sure you do subscribe because this video does help me out. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.